Honorable Dato Seri Sete Haji Ali bin Abong, Minister of Primary Resources and Tourism, Brunei Darussalam. Honorable Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I am very delighted to be among you today in the second Asia Pacific Rainforest Summit in Bandar Seri Bengkawan, Brunei Darussalam. On behalf of the government of Lao Pidia, I would like to express my sincerest congratulations and thanks to the government of Brunei for successfully hosting the second Asia Pacific Rainforest Summit. Lao Pidia is particularly under with variable, productive, and ecologically unique forests. We are not only vital economic resources, but provide essential contribution to the nutrition and income of most of rural population, and in particular, the rural poor. They also provide a habitat for the nation's rich natural biodiversity and products is soils, water seed, and water resources. Some 80% of our population is heavily relies on the forest for timber, food, food, fiber, cellar, medicines, condiments, and spirit protection. In rural area, forests provide one of the few available economic activities and non-timber forest products. Often provides more than half of the family's total income. Livelihoods are more closely depend on the health and national forests. According to the latest National Forest Inventory 2015, it showed that current forest cover stood 11 million hectares or an in estimated 47% of the area of the country. This is still relatively high percentage of the forest cover by the world and regional standards. Direct costs for this loss are forest clearing and burning by unsustainable shifting cultivation, poor logging operation, and conversion to the agriculture and other land use we are underlying cause of wise-kept poverty, rapid population increase, and weak law enforcement, as people scramble for the exploitation. The government of Laopedia has always paid increased attention to the sustainable management and use of the country's forest resources. Laopedia, in recent needs green, green, beautiful development towards 2030 and aims to achieve 70% of the forest area by 2020, as highlighted in the eight National Social Economic Development Plan in 2016-2020. This will be achieved by preserving the existing forest area. Restoring uh, an estimated 1,500,000 hectares of degraded of potential forest and enlistment planting for 35,000 hectares. In addition, Lapidia is working closely with our development partner to implement a number of projects in providing alternative ways of agriculture production and livelihood improvement to control shifting cultivation. However, the demand for the resource mobilization to support the sustainable forest management is immense. The UNFCC was one of the three major international environmental conventions agreed at the UN conference on environmental on Environment and Development in Rio de Janeiro in, 2000, in 1992, 
Laupedia signs the UNFCC on 4 January 1995 and treatly enters into force three months later on 4 April 1995. In 2010, Laupedia adopts its own national climate change strategy. Prior to the adoption of the Paris Declaration, Laupedia has submitted its intense national determined contribution on October 1st to the UNFCCC as requested. The INDC reflects our engagement and determination within our national context to support a long-term goal and reducing global greenhouse gas emission. In line with the principle of common but different responsibilities and respective capacity, Laupedia is committed to the implementation of its strategy and its sector climate change action plans for the national, regional, and global benefits. However, it will require technical and financial support to the deliver and mitigation and adaptation action identified in its INDC. Our government has also given the priority to the strengthening of the national capacity in order to implement and promote CDM projects and to prepare the Red Plus. The private sector involvement in forest rehabilitation activity is rather important. The capacity of public sector is undoubtedly inadequate. Therefore, the government has piloted the public-private partnership in forest rehabilitation scheme. We have entered the investment agreement with the local investor to incorporate the national protected area in the protection scheme. However, the risk to the successful implementation of this localized initiative is still exist. And the enabling environment and technical and financial support are required. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, in, conclus in concluding my remark, I wish to reaffirm the strong commitment of Laupedia is working closely with the all countries, Asia Pacific region, to achieve the ultimate goal to the Asia Pacific Rainforest Summit to end the natural forest loss by 2030 and its need to contribute significantly to the implementation of the Paris Climate Change Agreement and Sustainable Development Goals. Thank you very much for your attention.